The European Space Agency, ESA, will start 2012 with a historic event, when the new Vega launcher lifts off from French Guiana on its qualification flight. Vega will specialize in placing 300 to 2,000 kilo satellites into the polar and low Earth orbits, used for many scientific and Earth observation missions. This will make access to space easier, quicker and cheaper. Unlike most small launchers, Vega will be able to place multiple payloads into orbit. By extending its range of launchers to include Vega along with Ariane 5 and Soyuz, Europe now leads the way on the global launching market with the ability to launch any size of payload into space. 2012 also marks ESA's fourth long-duration mission to the International Space Station with Dutch astronaut André Koper's visit to the ISS launched from Baikonur in Kazakhstan at the end of 2011. He will remain in space for nearly five months as part of the resident International Six astronaut crew. Now that the ISS has moved from the assembly stage to being fully operational, there will be more time to carry out an extensive scientific program. For its continuing operation, the ISS depends on regular deliveries of equipment and supplies. This is what the ATV, the automated transfer vehicle from ESA, will be doing in March. Since its first voyage in April 2008, the ATV has been an indispensable ISS supply ship. The second ATV was launched in February 2011, and now the ATV-3, named after the Italian scientist Eduardo Amalli, is scheduled to launch in March, carrying 6.6 .6 tons of cargo to the station. The ATV is the smartest space vehicle to date, thanks to its onboard navigation system, which allows it to dock automatically to the ISS. The ATV then remains attached as a pressurized and integral part of the station for up to six months, where, once its cargo is delivered, it can be used for reboosting or reorienting the station. Then it will be de-docked and will burn up during its re-entry phase, with up to 6.4 tons of waste from the station. For 35 years, satellites have been providing Europe with accurate weather forecasting and climate monitoring. This year we'll see the launch of two new weather satellites. The METOP-B polar orbiting satellite will be sent on orbit by Soyuz from Baikonur, while the MSG-3 satellite will lift off aboard an Ariane 5 from Kourou. METOP-B is part of a series of three satellites that will provide some of the most accurate weather data services for monitoring the climate and improving weather forecasts. The first satellite in the series, METOP-A, launched in 2006, collects data on the Earth's temperature, humidity, wind speed and ozone, and traces gases such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane. MSG-3, the third Meteosat second generation, will continue to provide information and imagery for weather forecasting, as well as risk prevention and disaster warnings. The data collected are routinely used for the study of meteorology and climate change. Summer will also see the launch of ESA's fourth Earth Explorer satellites, SWARM, a mission composed of a formation of three satellites designed to operate collectively to unravel the complexities of the Earth's magnetic shield. It will be sent by a rocket launcher from Plesetsk in northern Russia. Thus, Swarm will study the Earth's magnetic field, which acts like a shield protecting the planet from charged particles streaming towards us in solar winds. Without it, life on Earth could not exist. How it is generated and how does it change over time is complex and not fully understood. It's in a constant state of flux and currently shows signs of weakening. Swarm should improve our understanding of this enigmatic force. Towards the end of the year, Europe's independent satellite navigation system, Galileo, will be one stage further in construction, with two more satellites joining the two previous so-called in-orbit validation satellites launched by the first Soyuz from French Guiana last October. The legendary Russian rocket will again be used from Europe's spaceport. With this mini constellation of four satellites, the minimum required for satellite navigation, Europe will be able to check not only the satellites, but also their ground segment, thus confirming the design of Galileo. The completion of the first positioning system will be followed finally by a constellation of 30 spacecraft, providing a full range of worldwide services.
allowing Europe to rely on its own system and not be dependent anymore on the US GPS. 2012 will also be an important year for ESA, with its ministerial conference taking place in Italy next November. Ministers in charge of space from all of the 19 ESA member states will get together to take decisions which will reflect Europe's determination to invest in space as a key sector, providing for innovation, economic growth, strategic independence and the preparation for the future.